what a week it has passed every trial I'll at last bread of heaven bread of heaven feed me till I want no more for your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio I am CJ In yesterday's segment, I gave you the most valuable NBA team that has taken over the top ranking as the LA Lakers are valued at $900 million thanks to a blockbuster Time Warner TV deal. And here is the Paul Harvey version. And here's the rest of the story. The New York Knicks comes in second after being number one last year, valued at $780 million. The Chicago Bulls comes in third with a value of $600 million. The defending champs Dallas Mavericks comes in fourth worth $497 million. The Boston Celtics settles in in the fifth spot at $482 million, while the Miami Heat valued at $457 million comes in sixth. Your Houston Rockets has a value of $453 million at seventh. Coming in at number eight is the Golden State Warriors valued at $450 million. Another Texas team as the San Antonio Spurs comes in at number nine valued at $418 million. And rounding out the top 10 most valuable NBA teams, the Phoenix Suns are worth $395 million. The Winter X Games kicked off yesterday and Colton Moore captured gold in the snowmobile freestyle. Forrest Bailey captured gold in snowboard street. In women's ski slope style, Kaya Tursky captured gold. And in the men's ski slope style, Tom Wallace captured the gold. For your quick news and notes, closer Brad Lidge signed a one-year, $1 million deal with the Washington Nationals. The Boston Red Sox agreed to terms Wednesday with right-handed pitcher Andrew Bailey on a one-year contract worth $3.9 million. The Tampa Bay Rays have reached an agreement on a one-year major league deal with infielder Jeff Keppinger. The San Francisco Giants have reached an agreement on a one-year major league deal with relief pitcher Clay Hensley and will make a base salary of $750,000 and he can earn an additional $300,000 in incentives and awards. The Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Clayton Kershaw accepted the Warren Spahn Award on Thursday night as the best left-handed pitcher. State police say Philadelphia Eagles tight end Brett Selick was a passenger in a car involved in an early morning DUI crash. Fortunately, no one was injured. An Alabama man who was allegedly assaulted by Oakland Raiders linebacker Rolando McClain and another man has sued the Oakland Raiders linebacker alleging brutal and prolonged assault and battery. Retired Dallas Cowboy backup quarterback John Kittner was hired as a football coach at Lincoln High School in Tacoma after retiring from a 15-year NFL career. John Kittner was hired as a football coach at Lincoln High School in Tacoma after retiring from a 15-year NFL career. Milwaukee Bucks center Andrew Bogut is out indefinitely after fracturing his left ankle Wednesday night in Houston. University of Texas Regents voted unanimously Thursday to extend Coach Mac Brown's contract by four years to the end of the 2020 season, and Brown will receive $100,000 in annual raises from his $5.2 million salary, which is the highest in college football. Support for the decision by Penn State trustees to fire the late Joe Paterno is falling, according to a national poll released Thursday. And finally, no more secrets. NASCAR will no longer fine its teams and drivers without making the fines public, the governing body announced on Wednesday. This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relax Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For rates and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C-E-E, at jay sports at gmail.com for more information be sure to follow me on twitter and youtube at cj sports and make sure you download the remo gospel radio app on your android phone so you can have remo on the go tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality in your sports <laughs> i'm cj be blessed and have a positive productive blessed day of what's left of it and remember to keep your head down